Without even realising it, we engage in internal conversations with ourselves all day, every day. When you last looked in the mirror at yourself, what was the first thing you thought when you saw your reflection? If you said good things to yourself that were complimentary, then great. But maybe the thoughts you had weren't quite so kind. That would be an example of stinking thinking, unhelpful, unkind, negative self-talk. This kind of thinking can hold you back and restrict opportunities. We all have hundreds of thousands of thoughts every day and how we process those thoughts relates directly to the way we behave and deal with emotional problems. Everything starts with our mental responses to situations. We think stuff, we feel stuff, and then we behave accordingly. Negative and unrealistic thoughts can cause us distress, and when we suffer from psychological distress, the way in which we interpret situations becomes skewed, which in turn has a negative impact on the actions that we take. I think it's worth looking at the model that sits behind cognitive behavioural therapy, CBT, because it helps us to understand why and how our thinking affects our behaviour and how stinking thinking can be so destructive to the quality of your life. We think stuff, we feel stuff and we behave accordingly. Your thoughts will impact your mood. If you wake up dreading work, you might have a low mood. If you're in a low mood, it's going to affect your behaviour. You may go quiet or slam a door. Your thinking, your mood and your behaviour will all result in some kind of physical reaction as well. Maybe headaches or tight neck muscles or increased heart rate. The interaction between your thoughts, your mood, your behaviour and your physical reaction is in a constant cycle. Each impacts the other and if it's negative, it can spiral you down into a dark place. Stinking thinking is a dangerous, unproductive and unhelpful thing. The good news is that you can kick off a very positive emotional and physical state by replacing stinking thinking with optimistic, hopeful, kind and useful thoughts. The secret is to catch your negative thoughts, write them down, then write down an alternative thought that could be positive and helpful. With optimistic thoughts going through your mind, your mood will lift, your behaviour will change for the better, and your body will be more relaxed. Just be careful what runs through your head, because negative stinking thinking will affect the quality of your life and what you're able to achieve. But you can turn it around in seconds. It does take daily, even hourly practice, but you will experience a happier and more enjoyable life when you flush away all that stinking thinking.